on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, just kidding, I'm not Nicole. Uh, I'm Ethan, if you didn't know, I'm the guy behind the camera. Um, it is currently 5.30 in the morning. I got here at 4.30. Um, bags are checked and I'm flying from Perth to Melbourne uh, to meet back up with Nicole and Jeremy again. I'm very excited. This is going to be an insane next two, three episodes um, of the Melbourne vlog. So yeah, I'm chilling here right now. I've got my coffee. I'm happy. Um, I'm going to put the camera back in the bag now. This is the bag setup. Um, if anyone is interested, all the stuff I'm bringing, I've got a drone with me as well. Um, yeah, so that's that's my that's my carry on. Anyways, time to get on the plane, and I will see you guys in Melbourne. Guys, we are back to the big camera now. Um, I just googled Jeremy and Nicole's flight. It looks like it landed a couple of minutes ago. I um, haven't heard from them yet, so I'm assuming they just just landed. Um, but I'm waiting outside the closest point I can uh, because I can't get through security with my big bag. So we're going to wait here. I'm going to get them come through, uh, and I've got a little surprise prepared. As you can see, I'll flip that around on camera so you can see what that is. Um, but yeah, we're going to surprise them with that. So hopefully, hopefully they like it. We did it guys, they're here. Right now we made it. We're gonna get our luggage now and fill up my water. So excited, so excited. <laughs> Bro, this bag is like yeah. 15 kilos. Oh man. I hope this all fits into Haley's car. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Butterfly. Oh my god, it's so cute. What did you get? You know, I love it, I love it. Thank That's really you. sick. Thank you. That's <laughs> super cute. Cool. Okay. This is pretty cool, man. This is pretty weird. Oh, that's so cool. I like how it locks down, eh? Okay, perfect. I got so pumped. Up really close to I need to eat my meal. Like you, because oh, really? it's like too close. <laughs> Where is it? I'm like, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll eat it. Yeah, I'm like 20 minutes late to eat it. That's all good. It's good sometimes, you know. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, sorry. Jeremy really hates the smell of my food and he complains a lot about it. It's good. Once we get to the apartment, it will be her time to eat. So. Managed to get all the baggage in. Obviously, it's not. <laughs> I'm just gonna like all the squished up here, but it's all good. The baggage are in. We're gonna go to the apartment now. 
check in. I need to get a workout in and then I need to go get my tan. I probably have to like shower in between and then I have a hair appointment to go to, which I feel like I might miss, but I'll try to book in tomorrow or something like that. Worst case scenario. And we're eating our food, so Jeremy's driving, so me and Haley can eat our food. And let's hope that he will be fine on the road because Melbourne's driving is very different from Perth. Wow. <laughs> it's better than Perth because people can merge. <laughs> yeah. I was like freaking out, I was like waiting for it, for it to come to a standstill, and it didn't. Everyone just kept driving. I was like, oh. <laughs> but a good practice for Jeremy because he has to drive in Florida, so first step is driving in Melbourne. Jeremy's trying to do a hook turn. We've actually, we, we drove past the hotel first of all sure? when we got there. So we had to do a whole round. Oh, really? And now it's our sure? second attempt at getting back there and finding where we're supposed to park oh, and whatnot. Oh, actually, no, because. Oh, no, no, you can't. Oh my god, that's red light. Okay, well. Alright, Jeremy's just going for it. Just follow the cars. Yeah, just follow the cars. Yeah. Oh, it's red light. It's okay. You made it. It's There's all good. No camera there, right? It's all good. It's all well, good. Well, nothing flashed. Like, look, okay. sorry, we're tourists, okay? <laughs> we're tourists. Shit. Can you jump off? Huh? No, no, I'll carry that. And then you can get What's gonna happen, Bob? Service. We're heading to Brunswick now. I feel very at home, like on this road, because like I haven't been to Melbourne for a while, but I've competed in Melbourne many, many times. So it kind of still feels a bit familiar, you know. So it feels good to be back in Melbourne. Heading to Brunswick to get my tan. I'm shift. I'm gonna move my training to like later, later, so we won't train till after. So get my tan, get my hair washed and blow dried, and then we're gonna train tonight with all the carbs in me. I'm literally all covered up. I've eaten three carb meals. I literally don't know how I look like at all. So <laughs> we shall see. We should walk around and move the food a little bit. Like we've been eating carbs all day, and like yeah. literally like just traveling, sitting down. I only get down to this body weight for like the last few days but I've maintained in the 42 zone for like a week and I actually feel all right which gives me a feeling of like I can keep doing this like you know what I mean because every, every time like after prep like I'm like oh it's so hard like I just want to like I can't wait to finish but then now knowing that I'm supposed to be like feeling worse but like I feel like I can keep going like I can definitely smash through another two weeks of prep like if I need to go harder to get leaner for America like whatever I need to do like I feel like my body feels ready for it like I feel like yeah I can do this so it feels good <laughs> I feel like yeah because if I was feeling like oh I'm just so over it and I'm like so dead like I feel like I wouldn't be able to like continue for the whole year because it's like I have five shows you know but um it feels good knowing that like I can be this lean and still feel okay so I can hold it hopefully for as long as I need to um, and not feel too shit <laughs> so is this prep like felt different from most it or? was the hardest prep ever it was really 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 hard that's why I thought um, like at the end it'll feel worse but like my body has just been really stubborn but it just it's been stubborn but good at the same time it's you know one of those things i just like yeah it's just very adaptive you know which is a good and bad thing <laughs> you're looking a little bit crazy <laughs> the lighting's really good here really yeah <laughs> Just got my first coat of tan, nice and orange. It smells like competition time. Broccoli square, uh, bakery. Oh order. really? Yeah. Trust me. Oh, oh my god. I just put it. Her joints are like really, really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's filled with Nutella. Wow. <laughs> so I just stopped by there and put in the order and yeah. told her have them ready. Yeah. yeah. 
But if y'all want, I'm telling you. If the Ivory Pro say so, then yeah. Uh, no, <laughs> no, trust me. You know, like, when bodybuilders meet up, they just talk about food. Like, literally. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit of Have you seen each other? And just like, everyone's like, eat some donuts. Trust me, man. Trust me. Oh, good. Like, Yeah, it's just very, very quiet lift, bro. Anyways, I just got my hair washed and blow dried, so it's all nice and pretty. So now that all day is uh, out of the way, it's time to train. I never train at this time, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. I got four meals in, so I've actually never trained with four meals in. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. It's gonna be my last training session, which, um, yeah, well, I I'm not used to, I usually always train like up to just before show day. Um, usually just before show day is like a light pump, but my coach doesn't want me to train at all tomorrow. So we really want to make this workout count. He did say keep it short, but let's just go for like 45 minutes to an hour. Cause you know, I just love to train, especially like when I'm all carved up and I have energy, I'm like, why not? So. We're approaching the corner that sells really, really good, like old fashioned style donuts. So, normally, like I finish competing in Melbourne, so I go eating half the state. So, like Melbourne to me is like food central, but this time it's a bit different. Like, obviously, it's my first like show of like my bunch of shows, so I can't go crazy with the eating. But we, I guess if we go past any cool food places, I will be happy to introduce it to you guys so you guys can have it for me. So, it's called Walker's Donuts right over here on the corner of Flinders Street. So I think they're really popular for just the simple hot jam donut. I did one that was like a plain with like pineapple covered as well. So yeah, highly highly recommend. It's pretty cold. How am I gonna warm up? Train really hard. <laughs> I'm not allowed to train hard. So like, yeah, a few days before comp is just all about like getting a pump and whatnot. We are here at the famous Doherty's gym in the city. I trained here since my very, very first show. I was so excited. Like when I first came here, I was like, yeah, it was it was insane. And I knew a lot of like pros used to train here from America and whatnot. It's been so long, I'm so excited to be back. And it opens 24-7, like literally staff 24-7.
like Perth. <laughs> Sorry, see you, bro. See you, bro. Oh, get it together. Cheers. Thank you. See you later. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. The door for you, sir. Thank you. I like it. You like it? It's a nice because I'm all I'm I'm dressed well. I have like double layers. I have like a little sweater and my puffer jacket. So the air feels refreshing. How did you find your training session went? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's still hard to kind of get a pump. I still kind of feel a little bit flat, but then I look fuller. So yeah, and then you have to like not train so hard or whatever. But it's pretty chill, pretty easy. I kind of feel sad that I won't be training for two days, but you know. What? <laughs> So I still get to train after that, but it's gonna be nothing too intense. It's gonna be like three back-to-back -back, like peak weeks, so there's no insane crazy training, but I'm excited to get back. Ever need. <laughs> if you want, you can have that and rice cakes or whatever. <laughs> you, you know, sure I'm going to eat in the container. Have you not checked down here? No, 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 I'm going to eat in the container. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back. Give me a drink. I can't open this. Turn my hand. <laughs> That's alright, I ordered it now. <laughs> Is this cooking but not really Melbourne edition? Yeah, so. Anyways, I got all my food pre prepped so I don't have to cook anything in this nasty ass kitchen. <laughs> we are going to eat without Nicole. I'm gonna get some frozen yogurt because I've been craving it and Sydney don't have frozen yogurt. Gotta go take some photos for coach and then I didn't want to call my mum. <laughs> you know, so. Welcome to my vlog. Today we're going on an adventure. <laughs> so we are waiting in line for frozen yogurt. Not frozen yogurt, gel gelato? Gelato. gelato we're, wait yogurt, we're waiting yeah. in line for gelato. This better be, yogurt, this yeah. better be good. Thank you so much. I don't want to Enjoy it. Have a good night. It's now 10.30. We were just doing a little bit of work. Like it's quite late. I normally sleep at like 9-ish. But um, we kind of had a little bit of a delay today. We worked late. My last meal was a bit later. And I just wanted to get a little bit of work done. And then Jeremy was replying to his messages and Ethan was editing. So I decided to do some work. So now I'm a bit behind my sleeping time. That's okay, we're all going with the flow. Like today is a very go with the flow day with me. Things didn't exactly go to like a strict plan, but you know, like things like that happen when you travel and compete and I have, luckily I've traveled and competed a lot as an amateur, so I'm kind of used to it now and I'm just, I'm just definitely feeling not stressed at all. Like I feel like I'm just pretty chill, which is a great way to be. So I'm all done with my carbs for today. We had a very high carb day today. Coach was very, very happy with how I was looking. I sent him my end of day photos. He thinks I look really full, which is great. But that also means that he cut my carbs tomorrow. So I'll be having a low carb day again tomorrow, which is fine. It just means less time that I have to spend eating. So I can be running around doing what I need to do and working still and trying to rest as much as possible tomorrow so i'm gonna try and wind down now because i'm still kind of buzzing a little bit i've taken my night ops and my nighttime subs so i'll be just watching some youtube videos winding down and going to bed so thank you guys for coming along today i hope you enjoy having ethan behind the camera again and i will catch you guys in the next one